Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my ham shack. If you're not a ham radio operator and you're not interested in this type of content, feel free to skip this video. You know, you're not going to break my heart. Everything will be okay. But even if you're not a radio operator, you might find this somewhat interesting. What we're looking at here and what we're going to talk about today is a digital communications mode called FT8 which is part of the WSJT-X suite, which is a, a, a digital mode suite. We don't need to get into all that right now. But it is a weak signal communications mode used by ham radio or amateur radio operators across the world. And right now we're at the bottom of the solar cycle where the atmosphere isn't conducive for a lot of great communications. But... By using something like this, you can make some wonderful contacts all over the world. Now we're going to talk about how to use FT8 to make contacts. I can't help you to hook your radio up to your computer uh, unless you have an ICOM IC7300 or a Yaesu Fox Tango 891, which are the two radios that I have. There's just too many different things to do, but basically you're going to need the key components of your radio station, a radio, a power supply, and an antenna, along with a computer and a way to connect your radio to your computer. If you have a modern radio like the IC7300, it has a built-in sound card and everything is done via a USB port. Um, if you have something different, like I said, every radio is different, so I'm not going to be able to help you very much. All right, so let's talk about these two windows here and we'll get started. This top window up here is the main FT8 window. And what you're seeing here on the left side is all the activity in the band. These are stations calling CQ. Uh, these are stations answering. See this one right here, uh, November 2 Bravo Juliet is answering November 4 Hotel India uh, Delta with a signal report of plus 07. Here at station uh, Whiskey Victor 4 Papa, who is in Grid Square Echo Mike 55, 5, is calling CQ. He's wanting to talk to somebody. This is all the activity in the band. FT8 records or processes all the activity in the band at one time. And if we come down here to the waterfall, you can see that. Now you can see all here also on this green bar that has a 15 at the end of it. The way this mode works is we trade messages back and forth every 15 seconds. So for 15 seconds you're listening and for 15 seconds you're transmitting. When you're done listening it will decode the messages received. When it's your turn to transmit it will transmit your messages. What's nice about FT8 is there are standard messages all done up by the program. So once you've got your radio all set up and you can um, go into file settings radio and you can test cat and test PTT and it works then you're ready to set yourself up to start working here. Now, one thing we need to say, and this is simply a best practice, it is not a requirement. Here where you see split operation, make sure you've either got rig or fake it checked. We don't want to operate simplex here, we want to operate duplex. And if you come down here and look right here, you're going to see, here let me move them out of the way, there's your green goal post and there's your red inverted goal post. The green is the, where you're specifically receiving even though FTA will receive the entire band and the red is your transmission frequency. And FT8 is centered around 1500 on whichever particular band that you're using. Now you can see over here in our band selection we have 160, 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, 6 meters. We also have uh, 4 meters available in there as well. This is our receiving signal decibel meter. You want to be somewhere around 40 on a, on a quiet band. 
when signals are coming in and you can see there are signals coming in you want to jump up here around 60 or so if this turns red then um, you're overdriving and it's going to be distorted okay so these are our decodes here this is what's being decoded again we have people calling CQ we have other people answering a CQ now when you start to engage with them things are going to happen over here in this band or in this window and we'll talk about that in a second so to set yourself up for the best possible results the first thing you have to do is make sure that your clock is accurate if your clock is not accurate, you you might see decodes coming into the band window, but nobody's going to answer your CQs, and when you respond to them, nothing's going to happen. So go to time.is, let it run, and it tells me, see for instance, it says my time is exact, I am plus or minus 0.081 seconds. And the reason my time is so good is because I'm using a, a NTP thing here. And I can update my clock whenever I want to make sure that it's absolutely correct. We were two milliseconds off on our last sync. So I know that my time is good. Once you know that your time is good, you're going to want to come right here where it says auto seek. That's auto sequence. Turn it on that's going to use the automatic generated responses over here which is what everybody on FT8 is looking for it does allow for some free form messages but people are going to scratch their head if they see any this is what they're looking for also if you're going to be uh, calling CQ then make sure call first is checked so that it will answer whoever uh, calls you back now here's a little trip or tick tip or trick however you want to call it see this one up here it says transmit even first how do you know if you need to transmit on the even or odd times well in general it really doesn't matter but say you want to answer one of these particular stations here what you can do is you can look at their time code over here and all you have to look at is the last digit is it a zero or is it a five if it's a zero make sure your box is unchecked if it's a five make sure the box is checked so as we said this is a digital mode I'm gonna turn the volume up here a little bit and this is what it sounds like if you're an old guy like me you know it sounds like a modem okay there comes a the signal can you hear that that warbling that's FSK or frequency shift keying so what we need to decide is whether we want to call CQ and have somebody answer us or if we want to answer somebody else let's start off with having somebody try and answer us so the first thing you want to do is you want to come down here to your waterfall. You want to be centered somewhere around 1500, but you do not want to be simplex. You don't want your green and red lined up. So pick an empty area here in the waterfall and shift click to set your transmission, your transmit frequency somewhere in an empty area doesn't really matter where your receive frequency is because like I said FT8 is going to process the entire bandwidth shown here in the waterfall at once okay so that's done our next step is to come up here and click enable TX so we're now we have <laughs> we've now pulled the slide back and there's one in the chamber okay so now since I had um, CQ called you can see up here I am transmitting CQ my call sign and my grid square now that period is over and we're gonna listen to see if anybody comes back it's gonna take 15 seconds as this bar graph progresses across the screen here and you can also look here in my transmit frequency ah there we go somebody came back whiskey bravo zero romeo papa fox who is in grid square em19 now i answer him back and give him a signal report of minus zero seven db 
and he should answer me back with a signal report here in just a second. And you can tell because there's activity here that he's transmitting on my frequency. All right, should be decoding here in just a second. Decode. There, he answers me back with a signal report of minus one. I answer him RRR, all received. He should answer me back with a 73 message. And what do we get? Here it comes. 15 seconds. Oh, look over here. There's a DX from Spain. All right, we're still waiting for our 73 message from our communication here, our QSO. There we go, 73 message. I send him a 73, and the program prompts me to log it. Should we see if we can get Spain? Okay. There's his CQ, Echo Alpha 5 India India Golf. And there's me calling him. We'll see if we can get him. We'll give it like two tries. If I, if I can't uh, if I can't get him, we'll, we'll see what happens. I forgot to set my offset transmit frequency. Give it just a second here. It's the middle of the afternoon in Ohio with not great band conditions, so my chances of reaching Spain right now are probably slim to none. We'll give it another pass by here and see if we get any luck. But I'm not counting. Ah, look, there's Portugal as well. The fact that I'm hearing him is good. Now, again, this is a weak signal thing. We don't want to be blasting here. Yeah, so if you have an amplifier, you know, turn your amp off for this and turn your power down. Oh, we're not talking exactly QRP levels, but 30 watts to 50 watts is probably, okay, more than enough for anything. All right, I, I uh, disabled my TX because we're not going to get him. Now, to control your power, you have this slider over here. And if I click on it and move it, you can see my transmit digital gain all the way down at minus 45 dB. Or all the way up at zero dB. I just like keep it somewhere, somewhere right in the middle. Okay. Next, we're going to look for somebody who we probably can talk to, and I'll show you how to answer them. It's really simple. So we're just going to wait for somebody here in the United States to call a CQ. Again, we're looking down here. There's a very strong signal. There's a very strong signal. Kind of a weak signal. Somebody here in the U.S. will be calling the CQ in just a second. It, nothing much to worry about. Now, another box I have checked is the hold TX frequency. So it remembers where you found that empty spot. So, you know, we want to keep that. We don't want to lose our empty spot in the waterfall. It doesn't really matter. But, all right, come on, somebody call CQ. Of course, now nobody's going to call CQ. All right, while we're waiting, let's talk about a couple other things. These buttons up here, enable TX and halt TX. Enable TX is like pulling the slide back. You're putting one in the chamber. It's ready to go. Okay, here we go. Whiskey Victor 4 Papa. I just double clicked on him. That's all I had to do. It enables the TX. It puts you into transmit mode, and now we're calling him Whiskey Whiskey Victor 4 Papa. Whiskey Whiskey 8 Papa Romeo from EN90 is calling you back. So let's see if he hears us. If he does, he should respond with a signal report. Graph's almost uh, to the end. Okay, there he goes. He gives us a signal report. Whiskey Whiskey 8 Papa Romeo from Whiskey Victor 4 Papa, signal minus 0, 05 decibel. I respond, Whiskey Victor 4 Papa, Whiskey Whiskey 8 Papa Romeo, received. I'm giving you plus 19. Now he should give me an RRR. As soon as this comes over to the end, we should get our RRR. RRRRRR. <laughs> Sounds like the, uh, what was it, the squirrel in the garbage disposal from the Mr. Obvious radio show. There it is, RR73. He sends me a 73. I send him a 73. And the QSO is done. Really, really simple. 
that's all there is to it. If you want to switch bands, you can come over here. We can go to the 20 meter band. Okay, when I switch, I like to clear the windows. One click on the erase button clears this one. Two clicks clears this one. So now we are in the, four, the 20 meter band. You can see us at 14.074. I'm going to look for a new clean space somewhere around 1500 to put my transmit frequency. And there we go. We've got some folks calling CQ. I just showed you how to do it. We're not going to go over and over it again. Um, a couple more of these buttons to worry about, or not to worry about really. TX to RX. All this does is bring your green goal post to your red goal post. Nothing too much to worry about there. I showed you the erase. The monitor is whether or not the program is going to decode. Stop stops everything. Log does your logging. A halt TX stops you immediately. Remember I, I said enable TX is like pulling back the slide. Well, this is this is like pulling the slide clear off the gun like you're tearing it down. We're completely done here when you hit halt TX. There's also a tune, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, the last thing we need to talk about is logging. If you go up here to file and open your log directory, You'll see here an ADIF 2.0 document. Here's how I do it. Now there's an add-on if you're running Windows called uh, JT Alert you can get. I don't use it. This is just really simple here. All you need to do is copy the log and then I like to paste it somewhere. I just, I just do it right on the desktop. That's the old one. Let me get rid of the old one on my delete button. Okay. There's the new one. I'm going to paste my new log right there. Then I'm going to come over here and erase the log. That way I'm not importing the same stuff into my logging pro program all the time. Um, depends on what you use, but it's an ADF file. You can import it however you like. But hey, if you're new to FT8 like I was a few months ago and I really didn't know anything, I mean, I knew it was a, a pretty cool program and I knew I wanted to get into it, but there's really not a lot of uh, actual instruction out there. There's a lot of people showing you how great it is, but hopefully this will give you a little better idea on how it works. And there are some other modes here as well. Last thing I want to show you before we go is if you're interested in how far your signal is being received, you want to go to pskreporter.info. You can put your call sign in. And let's uh, see if we can't zoom in here a little bit. What we're looking at here is all bands. We're showing signal sent by the call sign, Whiskey Whiskey 8 Papa Romeo, using FT8 in the last three hours. So you can see where the signals are. Here's one uh, 34, 19 kilometers away. That looks like South America, Nic Nicaragua, Panama area. Over here, you know, we're in Europe. Uh, 6,000 kilometers away, they're hearing me. That's why this is such a wonderful mode to use when the conditions are bad. You can still get out there. You can still be heard. It's a lot of fun. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Uh, big thanks to the Elmers that helped me getting started in ham radio. If you're interested in ham radio and you want some help, email me, arduino0169 at gmail.com. I'd be glad to help you out. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace.